Wildcat Nation, and welcome back to yet another week here inside VCU Athletics. If you thought you missed it, well, we've got you covered. I'm Selena Garcia, and this is Cat Eye Rewind. Our VCU Wildcats pulled off the win in an overtime thriller, defeating Florida A&M 18-17 in the Florida Blue Florida Classic on Saturday. After a scoreless first half, Michael D. Jones broke the tie with a nine-yard touchdown in the third quarter. The Rattlers came back and took a 10-7 lead until Hayden Hogarth hit a 32-yard field goal with 39 seconds left to send the game to overtime. FAMU came out and scored a touchdown on their possession, and the Wildcats answered with a one-yard touchdown from Danny Dillard. Larry Brim then ran in the two-point conversion for the win. The win is the fourth straight over the Rattlers, and with North Carolina a and loss to North Carolina Central, it gave BCU a share of its fourth MEAC title in five years. The Wildcats finished their season at 9-3. Now moving on to volleyball, the Lady Cats fell in five sets to Coppin State on Friday in the MEAC Tournament quarterfinals, bringing an end to their season. Delicia Pierre added another double-double to her season total with 15 kills and 13 digs. Rara Kaya Neely had six blocks, setting the school record for blocks in a season with 104. The Lady Cats finished with a 12-20 record. On to men's basketball. The men traveled up to New Jersey this past weekend for a sub round in the CBE Hall of Fame Classic. On Friday, Clemmy Owens scored a game high 22 points, but it wasn't enough as the Wildcats fell to Monmouth 73 to 59. On Saturday, BCU couldn't get their offense going as they dropped one against Tosin 63 to 42. Michael Trapp scored 12 points while Quentin Brewer added 11 points and eight rebounds. On Sunday, the Wildcats staged a second half comeback to defeat Central Connecticut State 65 to 60. Trapp had 18 points while Brewer had 11 points and 10 rebounds. The men next take the court at home Tuesday against UT Martin before heading to Orlando on Sunday to face UCF. Moving on to women's basketball, on Thursday, our Lady Cats headed up to Jacksonville to play Jacksonville University, losing to the Dolphins 64-51. Kendra Cooper led the way with 16 points, while Kaylin Williams had 7 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 blocks. On Sunday, Cooper scored 12 points, but the Wildcats fell to East Carolina 71-42. The Lady Wildcats will be back in Daytona Beach on Saturday for a matchup against Lynn.